Hello everybody, hello YouTube, this is my first video ever. I'm Pablo Garcia, Garcia with a Z. I'm normally a musical theater performer, but with this corona time, I <laughs> I had to take a break. So I decided to have some fun at home and I love crafting, so I decided to make some DIY projects for my place and I thought, might as well just record it, I'm gonna do them anyway. And yeah, they're very, very simple. It's, I'm gonna be doing three DIYs and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I did them. So yeah, I hope you guys like it and yeah, let's get on to the video. So it all started with me, an empty IKEA bag and my bike. After riding my bike for about like five minutes, I arrived at my Euroladen or hero store. And hi, there's me wearing my mask because I want to be responsible. Now we can start with our first project. For this project, all you're gonna need is a pretty glass and some paint. I'm gonna pour the paint directly into the glass because we're gonna brush it off anyway. So yeah, now you start spreading. I actually chose to paint inside because I wanted to keep the glossy texture of the glass on the outside. And I also didn't do it like perfectly. I didn't cover it perfectly because I wanted this um, plant holder to have a shabby look. And that's pretty much it. time for our second DIY project. I found this beautiful bamboo mat that I thought it was very pretty but I didn't know what I wanted to do with it and later I found this vase which I thought or vase which I thought was very pretty. So for this DIY project all you're gonna need is your hot glue gun and something to cut. You're gonna measure it and once you're sure that that's where you wanna cut it then you should cut it. It's probably gonna fall apart, but don't worry, just hold it together and later glue it together. After that, you're gonna go back in with your hot glue gun and put your glass on it on the same side so that you can hide the imperfections. Because I wanted this project to have more of a boho look or give me like beachy vibes, I went in with some paint and I wanted to do an a ombre effect. Once you decide to go up with the paint, I would recommend you to mix your paint with water just to make it a bit lighter. Now it's time for a third DIY project. Actually, the Euro store is a yarn paradise. So all you're gonna need for this DIY project is a wooden stick that you can find at any crafting store, some yarn, and your scissors. What I did to make my strands is grab my yarn and go back and forth holding both of the ed edges as shown in the video now. So you go back and forth, back and forth, I decided not to do this that many strands so that I can just work little by little. One thing that was important for me was to finish where I started. So that you, when you cut it, you have both loose ends on the same side. After that, you're gonna cut the loops you created and that's gonna give you your strands. Now, to create the knots, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a strand of yarn and you're gonna go over your stick and under. Now, under you're gonna have a loop and then you're gonna grab the rest of the yarn and pull it through and then just pull it to create the knot and then you're gonna repeat this process for as many times as you need to until you're happy with the result.
Now for the white yarn, I didn't want it the knot to be visible, so I did the exact opposite. Instead of going over, I need to go under. So yeah, I <laughs> had to think about that a little. But yeah, you go under and then over, and then you pull through. And we're almost finished, and what you're gonna need now is either the same yarn or a string to hang it. Now you're gonna measure it, and cut it, and make a knot on each side. I don't know what I'm doing here, actually, because I wanted to do a fancy knot, which ended up looking just the same as a double knot. So what I would suggest is to create a normal knot. It's gonna work the same way as a fancy knot. Once you're finished with that, just cut the rest of the strings on both sides, and there you have it. Now, to give all your yarn strands the same length, you're gonna hang your decor piece on the wall and start cutting. I wanted to give this whole thing a V-shape because I thought that was gonna look pretty, but then I noticed that one of the brown parts was very short, and if I had decided to go for a V-shape design, it would be very, very short. So thank you guys for watching. Those are, were the three DIYs. So I hope you guys liked it. And if you agreed it, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Pablito Garcia Home Garcia with a Z. If you liked it, please make sure to click the like button and maybe consider subscribing. I I'm gonna try to be posting once a week. This is my first video ever. But if you like me and if you liked what you saw, then make sure to subscribe. Have an amazing day and stay creative. Hi, Editin Pablo here, and I just left this clip in because I thought it was very funny and I thought I was gonna do something with this cap, but I ended up just leaving it there. The Fandora beside it looks a lot like one that my granddaddy used to wear. He's still alive. And uh, this looked like oatmeal. And then I saw the blue one beside it and I was like, oh my god, Smurfs oatmeal. Uh, it was just some random thoughts. And then I grabbed these seashells that I didn't end up buying. So thank you for watching. Subscribe. Bye.